welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it's going to be another very personal kind of video because this will be my tips and tricks on how I get my um, branded bags, my luxury bags on a budget. I don't have to splurge a lot. As I have said on my other videos, I love bags. I had an addiction like a couple of years ago that, oh my God, kailangan kong tipirin yung sarili ko para lang bumili ng bag. Kailangan kong uh, magsakripisyo kasi gusto kong bumili ng bag. Ganun ako katindi nagkaroon ng addiction when it comes to bag. Pero as I have said also, natong down ko na yan ng konti kahit papaano. Siguro now I know my priorities. And alam ko na ngayon yung focus ko. But anyway, I still have some functional bags na tinabi ko or naiwan ko para sa sarili ko kasi feeling ko ito yung mga bags na kahit paano dumating man yung alam mo yung ilang gano man sila tumagal 10 years, 20 years, 30 alam kong nandyan pa rin sila sa akin kasi they are sturdy they are classic they will never get old they may look vintage, but they will still look elegant and classy. And functional, of course. Not to brag or anything, hindi ko mabilang before yung bags ko. Kasi parang every other, every other day, parang gusto kong laging lumalabas kami ni Balbon. Or every weekend, nagdadala ko ng bag. Ewan ko, there was something with me that year. Kasi before, hindi naman ako mahilig sa bag. But then, when that year started, oh my god, I felt like, hmm. And also, ginawa ko rin naman kasi siyang kabuhayan. Kung gusto nyo malam kung paano ako nagkaroon ng mga bags na medyo, feeling ko naman sa akin, medyo mahal na yun. Although siguro sa inyo, kung afford nyo yung mas mahal pa dito, then hindi tayo pareho ng standard ng mga expensive bags. So, kung tingin mo pareho tayo or gusto mong malaman kung ano yung mga bags na meron ako at kung paano ko sila nakuha, without spending so much, then please keep on watching. magtatagal sa akin at alam kong magagamit ko at alam kong maipapamana ko pa sa kung pamangkin ko, sa magiging anak ko, or kung sino man na gusto kong pagbigyan. Okay, so first bag. Ito yung Louis Vuitton na bag na meron ako. Kwento. Let's make kwento first. Okay. As I have said, hanggat maaari, hindi ako bibili ng branded or ng signature na bag na brand new. Sinabi ko na yan sa last video ko, if you want something expensive, if you want to look something classy, lalo na sa bag, and if you don't have the money to splurge, then go for second-hand bag. So this Louis Vuitton bag is a second-hand bag because as I have said also, nagbibenta ako dati, so ginagawa ko rin naman siyang negosyo, so... Ayan, ito yung natira. Ito na lang yung tinira ko sa sarili ko. And I chose this to be with me kasi it's a common type of uh, Louis Vuitton. Actually, yung box niya, this is not the real box. This box is box of uh, sapatos ng Louis Vuitton. And I kept it there. Ayan. Kung hindi ka masyadong familiar sa brand na Louis Vuitton, lalo na sa mga second-hand items, Kapag binili mo yung item, kung meron pa siya mga inclusions like paper bag, dust bag, box, um, even the um, care card, kung nandyan pa siya, then another fee pa yun. Medyo tataasan pa ng seller yun. So, kumbaga, the more inclusion, the expensive, the item. Okay, so ayan, may box ako. And, nang shoe box actually. Pero, dyan ko na lang siya kinikip. You have to keep your bag inside the box or inside the dust bag also. Dust bag is like this. So, hindi rin to dust bag nung bag mismo. Dust bag din to ng sapatos. So, what I 
always do is nilalagay ko dito yung half ng bag and then other half. So, ayan, para siyang envelope. Naka-overlap dyan yung bag. So, as I was saying, yun, kailangan mo ilagay dito sa protected area yung iyong bag, especially the LB kasi nag-oxidize yan as time goes by, as years pass by. That's how natural leather would turn out during years and years na ginagamit mo siya. Kasi andyan yung humidity, yung air, yung temperature, everything. So, ayan yung factor ng oxidation. So, this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. I used to have Speedy 30. Speedy 25, 30, 35, even 40 meron sila. Why do they call it 30, 25, 40? Kasi ito yun yung centimeter niyan guys. So this is 25 centimeters, so less than 5 para maging isang ruler yung sukat niya. So this is the Speedy 25. I used to have Speedy 30 but then I think it was too big for me kasi petit ako guys. So the more na gumamit ako ng malaking bag, parang mas nilalamon ako ng Speedy 30. I chose to let it go and I opted to stick with this Speedy 25. The Speedy 25 doesn't come with a strap. So ganito lang yan pag binili mo. Ayan. Ganyan lang siya. And then, ito yung loob. Walang compartment. That's how it is. Ganyan lang siya kaliit. So, I think, ang nalalagay ko dito dati was merely my phone, some of my lipsticks, my small kikai kit. So, yun lang. And then, some uh, stuff. Mahilig kang magdala ng ball pen. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Pero, yun. Hindi naman ako mahilig maglalagay. Basta may bag lang ako. Nabitbit. I think, merong, meron tong key before. Pero, nawala ko din siya. Usually, yan nakabit dito. Key and lock. Sometimes, sa mabibili mo, may padlock lang. Pero, walang key. So, kung gusto mong tanggapin yung ganon, then, so be it. Or, kung ayaw mo naman, kasi what's the sense of having padlock if you don't have the key. So, pwede mong negotiate na, you know, ibabaan na lang siguro yung presyo. Kasi, wala naman key. So, that's how it is. And then, yeah, may packet lang siya dyan na isa. And then, here in the packet, I am keeping the uh, card ng Louis Vuitton na sinasabi kung saan gawa yung bag na to. So, ayan. What I'm saying about oxidizing is that this. So, kahit bago yung LV mo 5 years, 10 years from now, magiging ganito rin yan. So, that's why, guys, ladies, yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo last time. Okay? Pwede kang bumili. Okay lang bumili ng second hand item. Basta original. Kasi alam mo naman at the end of the day, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, the brand new and the one that you have will look the same. Walang pinagkaiba niyan. Magda-darken din yung patina niyan. Kapag ginagamit ko, may strap yan. Kinakabit ko lang dyan. And then, right here on the other side, meron na akong shoulder bag. So, nako ako to dahil sa aking pagbibusiness-business before. I used to buy and sell second-hand bags. Now, for the second item. I got this also as a second-hand through a online shop. Online shop siya na nagtitinda ng um, luxury items. Actually, hindi lang naman siya sa UAE. If you are familiar with the luxury closet, I got it there. I think internationally, meron na luxury closet and they ship out globally. So, I got this for like 50,000. This one. This is the Gucci Bamboo Shopper Leather Bag. So, I got this for like 50,000. Original price nito would cost you like 100,000 pesos. Ganun ko siya kamurang nabili. So, like half. This is how it looks. It's a color mauve. And it comes with a strap right here. So, yan. Ganito siya. Usually guys, kapag bumili ka ng mga luxury brands, luxury items, especially sa bags, nakalagay doon yung specifications ng bag, kung ano ba yung flaws, kung ano ba yung dumi niya, kung saan banda yung um, dent niya, kung saan banda yung scratch niya. This one, nung binili ko siya, meron siyang stain inside the bag right here. Pero pwede naman yung, I think this is, makeup or some kind of a glue. I don't know. Although, pwede pwede mong dalhin yan sa bags pa. So, yan yung additional tip ko sa inyo, ladies, na yung binili mong second hand item, it may look old and it may look dirty now, pero just spend some 
money pagdating sa bags pa, then I promise you, it will turn as good as new. So, yan, wala lang akong time at wala rin akong pera ngayon para magpabags pa. So, basically, ganyan siya. Marami siyang compartment. Ito, one and two. Tapos, may mga side pockets and another mini pockets. And then, in between, meron din siyang zip. This one, wala na itong mga cards or whatever inclusions. So, that's why siguro medyo mura na din siya. This is bamboo. Made of bamboo yung handle. And, natatanggal, of course, yung iyong strap right here. So, kung gusto mo lang ng handbag, you can use like this. Or, if you want to, do it as a crossbody. Use it as a crossbody bag or as a shoulder bag. Then, you go ahead and attach the strap. Lahat ng... Um, Hardware nito, meron naka-engrave na Gucci. Alright, now, um, third item or the third bag that I got is this Salvatore Ferragamo clutch bag. Pwede mong tanggalin yung chain actually. Ganyan, if you will remove the chain. It comes with a gold tone um, chain right here. The lock itself is letter F side by side which is Ferragamo. And guys, binili ko din to kay Ate Grace. Shout out to Ate Grace okay, sa Japan. If you are not aware, guys, ang daming luxury brands na second hand sa Japan. Diyan mo makikita lahat ng luxury items na hindi pagasgas. Sobrang good condition pa. If you don't have the means to go to Japan, then maraming legit na online sellers na naka-base sa Japan na nagbebenta ng mga second-hand items. Just be mindful to those who are legit and to those who are not, okay? For mostly naman ng mga items na nasa Japan, they have a very strict law and pagdating sa mga counterfeit, so mababa ang rate na ang makukuha mo ay mga fake, okay? Sa Japan yun ha, sa Japan. Ewan ko sa ibang bansa. Shout out to Ate Grace. So, sana mapanood itong video na to and i-share mo na rin Ate Grace. Alright, so nabili ko to sa kanya kasi um, it was an online selling and uh, the ladies were bidding to to different kinds of bags, to different kinds of items. So, when she showed this and I still don't have... Um, bag na pwede kong magamit at night time kapag party-party kasi mostly they are handbags and mostly are para mga casual and um, everyday bags. So, eto, nakita, nakita ko siya, I bid and then I I got it. And then, this is how it looks. So, yeah, meron siyang lock dito. Yung lock ng bag mo is uh, this letter F uh, side by side. We'll just flip it like that and Right there. So, maliit lang siya, guys. Makita. It has a very limited space. Actually, sobrang bago pa tong bag na to. Hindi ko nga alam kung nagamit ba to or siguro na-stuck lang nung may-ari kasi wala talaga. Even the hardwares, wala ding masyadong uh, scratch, wala masyadong uh, signs of usage. Siguro ako lang to. Ako lang tong naka- ano sa kanya, nakapagpaluma. <laughs> so, ayan, ganyan lang siya. And then, the logo is right here inside. Ewan ko kung nakikita nyo. And then, may maliit na packet, which is, of course, ang malalagay mo lang dyan is card. Kasi, masikip nga siya. It's very pabebe, uh, pabebe bag. So, ganun lang. <laughs> ganun. So, yan, this is how it looks. Ganda niya kasi, ayan no, o, di ba? Pwede mo siyang ganyan lang. And then, if you want to wear it ng, as a wallet or as a clutch, then just take off this um, chain right here. And I got this, if I'm not mistaken, for like 5,000 pesos or 6,000 pesos. Guys, pag binili mo to, mga 15,000 pesos to or more kapag brand new. Yan yung kwento ng bag na yan. So, this bag, hindi ko to binili. Hindi ako nag-spend ng any amount of penny with this bag. It still comes with a dust bag. So, yeah, this is from Ted Baker. And sobrang pa-girl tong bag na to. And this is actually a gift of my sister because she knows that I love Ted Baker. Lalo na yung mga shoes nila. So, this is how it looks. Nagamit ko to once sa Philippines kasi she bought this. My sister bought this in Australia. 
and this is how it looks. Sobrang girl. It comes with a ribbon and the color itself is so girly. Ayan. And snap button siya. So, yung lock niya is snap button like that. And then, my lining na sobrang girly din kasi medyo pinkish pinkish din. And then, it comes with a strap right here na hindi ko pa rin nagagamit as I have said. Oh, oops. Even the strap is still with protection. Ginamit ko to ng, as a handbag. Another tip, ladies, hanggat maaari, I personally prefer na ang bibilhin nating bag yung may strap or yung detachable yung strap para, you know, kung gusto mong magpa-girl, just use the top handle. Kung gusto mo ng medyo kung pangharabas, then put the strap. This is how it looks inside. Ayan. And sabi ko sa inyo, and ginamit ko lang pa ng ganun-ganun may tag pa yan. Hindi ko pa natatanggal yung tag. May zipper on the side. And then, my two mini packets on the other side. And then, there's a division right here. So, medyo maliit lang din siya. Kasi nga, pag-girl masyado ang mga, Ted, ang mga items ng Ted Baker. So, dyan mo ilalagay din yung iyong strap dito. Meron siyang hook dyan. So, yan. Nakatago din siya sa paper bag, as a dust bag. Now, for the last item. Guys, this is, I think, common sa ating mga Pinoy. Although, hindi lang naman. Kasi kahit yung mga French ladies, na mga pasyente na nakikita ko, they are using this bag. This is the long chump, le pliage. And this is how it looks. Ayan, this is the classic long chump le pliage. So, this is how it looks like from the outside. Yes, it, this is the one na may button sa likod. Kasi, ang purpose niyan is para, let me show you, whenever you want to keep your bag organized, so you fold it right here. Fold mo siyang ganyan. And then, the um, cover or the flap right here, you turn it over and then snap it like that. Uh, hindi ko na inayos pero I just wanted to show you how it looks kapag naka-organize ng ganyan. So maganda tong bag na to kasi yun nga, uh, sobrang it's made of nylon so malilinisan mo rin siya, hindi mo kailangan ipabags pa kahit ikaw, pwede pwede mong linisin and then the leather trimming is very nice, very soft, and very uh, sturdy. So, be mindful lang dun sa mga fake na naglalabasan. Alam ko, nung mga panahong yun, eh, medyo, mm, ang daming fake and ang daming imitations ng bag na to. Pero, yun yung pinagkaiba nun, guys. So, spend something na lang dun sa original, kahit siguro medyo costly, compare dun sa bibili ka, tas, alam mo yun, after 6 months, 1 year, masisira. Pero halos pareho lang naman kapag bibilihin mo din ng nakasale yung original. So, why not wait for the sale and get the original one? So, that's how I got this. I waited for the sale and nabili ko to. I bought this like for 3,500 or 4,000 kasi ano to guys mga 10,000 plus kapag binili mo on, on a regular price so this is how it looks right here, ganyan maganda to kasi kapag hinang mo siya tapos iba-ibang kulay yung meron ka, yung collection mo it looks so girly it looks so chic, so ayan ganyan, and this is like a very uh, mommy kind of bag kasi isasalpak mo lang lahat siya dyan. I don't know if yeah, nawala na rin yung card nito, yung care card nito and then marami ng sign ng ball pen sulat-sulatan ko na yung loob niyan but this is a very, very durable, sturdy and very um, kind of everyday bag na sulit sulit talagang bilhin to so yun lang so, basically, the summary of this video, guys, is you don't have to spend your money buying fake items and then, you know, masisira rin at the end of six months to one year. So, why not go for second-hand items? Why not wait for the sale? And mabibili mo yung original. Kasi yung price nung uh, bag na yan, kapag naka-sale, is almost the same nung packet na binili mo. 
And also, be mindful kapag bibili ng mga uh, second hand items. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope na nag-enjoy ka sa aking uh, bag collection and tips and tricks on how to get expensive and luxury items without breaking your bank. Kung nag-enjoy ka, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated whenever a new video comes up for me. So, that's it, and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye, and God bless.